how to connect a GoDaddy domain to GitHub. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can connect a domain to your GitHub pages or your GitHub website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we need is a domain. You can get a domain easily on GoDaddy.com. So go ahead and just simply search for your domain over here. Type the domain that you want and you should be good to go. So type in the website that you want. Let's with go with Zonked and over here we do have a couple of domains we can see zonk.com is taken zonk online sites these are available uh com zonk it has an s at the end but i wanted zonk that's available but the zonk now nah, zonk dot site that's available and so all you got to do is go ahead and click on the domain that you want make it yours if you want to buy that uh, you can go ahead and sign in or create an account it's actually free pretty simple i already have an account so i'm going to go ahead and sign in and then get the domain all right so now that i'm logged in zonk.live we could go with that one or we could go with the zonk.site right so i think this looks good so i'm going to click on continue and if you want you can get the full domain protection prevents hacker from stealing your domain or making it yours to weigh authentication and everything you can even get a professional email with it as well if you want if you don't want the protection just simply click on no and then click on continue to cart and then basically just add your payment method address and just buy the domain all right and there we go all right so now we have the domain and we should be good to go all right so then just gonna ask you to go ahead and start your website set everything up for you you can just skip that it totally depends on you but now that you have a domain now we need to have a repository on github if you have an account on github you should have a repository if you don't have an account you can just simply create one it's pretty easy and you can create one with google totally depends on you if you want to go with email or whatnot but once you have an account you're going to need to create a repository over here on the left hand side you've got your options right here you can click on create repository or you can click on the profile and here you've got your repositories option right here go ahead and click on that and you can go ahead and click on new and create a repository so here creating a new repository here you can add the name so we'll just say website demo or demo website all right so there we go and then you can add a description if you want we'll keep it public and then we just simply hit the create repository button and now we have a repository over here so we should be good to go you can see right here this is the website demo and everything so now here you can go ahead and upload an existing file so you can see right here quick setup if you've done this kind of work before click on upload an existing file and then choose your file so over here i already have one so i can go ahead and extract it right here i'll extract it in this folder and then i can just simply select all of them and click on upload if you're wondering where i got these files or where i got this website it's over here which is html5up.net they have a bunch of different html websites you can come over here you can even come over here to templatesjungle.com where they also have some html websites so you can go ahead and download your websites from there so once everything looks good you can add the file via upload over here if you want to commit any changes you can add an additional extended description over here as well and currently we have three files uploaded it should be a little bit more let me check all right so some of the files were not uploaded properly so all i would have to do is i just drag them and there boom then all the folders were uploaded as well but if i just choose the files then it just uploaded these three files right here the index the readme and the style so now we have all the files being uploaded so it's going to take a few minutes you can see right here uploading 60 files so give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go and once they've all uploaded then just simply click on commit changes and it's going to take some time to process all the files so give it a few minutes to complete it and we should be good to go there we have it now our template is uploaded our repository is ready but it's still not officially ready yet so go ahead and click on the settings option right here over here on the left hand side you will see a bunch of different options go ahead and click on pages and then deploy from a branch go ahead and select github action and then here since we are creating a html website so go ahead and select the static html so all you got to do is go ahead and click on configure and it's going to open up over here you can leave this as it is you don't need to edit any of this since everything is underneath the main branch then just simply click on commit changes commit changes over here create the name leave it as it is click on commit changes and then once it's done 
you can go ahead and check the progress of it by clicking on the action button over here and you can see right here uh it took 17 seconds to deploy there we go and now that it's deployed we can go ahead and click on the settings again and go underneath uh pages where did it go there we go and here you can see the website is over here open it up and we can see the website as it is so this is how it looks like looks pretty simple looks pretty cool right so now that we have a website now we can go ahead and set up the domain so now we need to go ahead and add the custom domain so to do that come back over here underneath settings and go underneath pages you'll see custom domain option right here and here you can go ahead and learn more about uh configuring a custom domain by coming over here and click on manage custom domains for github and down below you'll see that these are the IP addresses that we need to forward our domain to. So we need to create a records and point our Apex domain to these IP addresses. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So go back to your dashboard into your domain and go ahead and click on domains. And after clicking on domain, you can see right here underneath domain, you'll see overview DNS products, click on DNS and here you'll see all these different DNS records. And then here you want to add a DNS record by clicking on add button and selecting a, and you can keep the value over here. And also before I forget, add your domain record over here as well. So let me go back over here. This is the domain, copy that Come back over here, paste it, save it. And now we can go ahead and add it. So DNS check-in progress. So it's going to go ahead and check and see it's not currently complete. That's what we need to do. Again, type A over here. You can go with an add option. And then over here, add the IP addresses. So we're going to copy that and paste it over here. This is one. Uh, time to load over here, TTL. You can go with half an hour. That's fine. And click on add more records. Again, go over here, type A. And again, come back over here. Just copy the other one as well. Past it and add one more record or if you want you can add another value and then you can go ahead and add multiples like those as well but i'm just simply gonna do this way where i have to go ahead and do it one by one so like that copy that paste it and final domain name final ip address and paste it and there we go so now let me actually check 11 8 9 10 11 there we go everything looks good save all records updating dns record give it a couple of seconds boom success now it will take a little bit of time as i said before time to load is half an hour so it could take up to half an hour to load but once the, you've added these records you can come back over here and you can check again you know add the site over here and once it's done you should be good to go so i don't think it's gonna load up as of yet but oh it did nice so dns check is great it's now working and also we can see right here at the top our custom domain is available you can also enforce this option right here enforce http but it's unavailable for our domain is not properly configured with http that's because i didn't get the extra protection but that's fine uh, you should enforce it but now we can see our domain has now changed and if i click over here zonk.site now this is how it looks like so pretty cool right and there you have it that's how you do it that's how you set up your godaddy domain name on github pages so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye